You know, so you don't see the car, but you do see the damage left behind after it crashed straight into a restaurant. Authorities say the car just careened into the building after another crash that happened just seconds before. And it happened just seconds after employees locked up for the night. As Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger found out, four people were injured. Two of them were children. The owner of Burgers and Barley says his employees had just locked up for the night when the crash happened. A crash that literally left a gaping hole inside the restaurant. It was just seconds after the last employee left that it happened. Just after 11 o'clock Tuesday night, what resulted from a crash into the Burgers and Barley restaurant on Cherry Road in Rock Hill. That video only tells part of the story because this is what it looks like now. The owner allowing us to look at what was taken out. Bricks, glass and tables all damaged. Came across the railroad tracks at what's assumed to be a higher rate of speed. Hit another vehicle hit the building. Rock Hill police say what happened here was one crash that resulted in another crash. They tell us an SUV crossed the center line, hit a three-wheeled motorcycle, leading to the SUV careening into the restaurant. The drivers of both were injured, as were two children in the SUV. Restaurant owner Jason Cloud says those injuries are not believed to be serious, but what happened is at least temporarily closed a place that has brought people in for the last seven years. There's a gaping hole in the building, uh, debris inside everywhere. Um, Take us a moment to clean it up, uh, get get things put back in place. At last check, the crash that happened here was still under investigation. As for reopening the restaurant, though, that will take a little bit. Our structural engineer needs to sign off on it, and at least some temporary repairs will need to be made. We caught a portion of that hole boarded up when we dropped by. We're uh, we're evaluating that. Hopefully, the structural damage isn't uh, as bad as it looks right now, and we can get back open shortly. And the owner, Jason Cloud, says he hopes to open as soon as he can. In Rock Hill, Derek Dellinger, Queen City News.